Welcome back to the 10 day flare. Today is day five and we've covered pretty much everything that I would do in a flare. I would switch to a liquid diet. I would get plenty of sleep, plenty of naps. I would cancel pretty much everything I could within reason and fill in that white space with as much restorative types of activities as I could and fun things, hanging out with friends, playing video games, watching movies, meditating, going for hikes, doing yoga, things like that, and try and insulate myself as much as possible from the barrage of negativity, whether that be the news or my social media, just put myself in a cocoon of healing for a couple days so my body could recover as fast as possible. If you've been doing all that, I hope it's been working for you as well as these methods have for me. And I want to talk today about how we're going to phase out of this intensive healing period because we probably can't stay here forever. That's not realistic. We have jobs, we have things to do. It's hard to only drink liquids for the rest of your life. You're probably hangering for some food right about now. And I made the mistake quite a few times of being like, oh wow, I'm feeling better. Let's go get some Mexican right out of my liquid diet. Not a good idea, right? As you can probably imagine. So what I would start with especially in the food category, that's the most difficult for people, is first of all, I would strongly recommend getting an allergy or sensitivity test done. There's a whole bunch of different varieties of these kinds of tests, but if you can figure out and know already things that you're personally sensitive to, that can be a great starting point of like, oh, well, I probably shouldn't eat those things because I'm already, you know, just coming out of this flare and I don't want to impact my body negatively. But there's also some things that are hard for people in general. Nightshades, grains, gluten, dairy, sugar. Those are the big ones that people tend to be more sensitive to. So I would try and avoid all of those as you're coming out of this phase. I would also strongly recommend that you eat mostly cooked things coming into actually eating food. So if you're going to have vegetables, cook your vegetables, have soups, things like that, because switching directly into, even if it is like raw kale or raw salad, something that's really full of nutrients and normally good for you can be kind of a shock to the system if you were in a flare and you're coming off of a liquid diet. So that's what I would do as far as food goes. And then implementing back into your normal life, I would give yourself a couple of days and pretend like you're still in that cocoon. So let's say you figured out that when you're in a flare, it normally takes you five days of a liquid diet and then two days to kind of get back to normal. So don't just take five days off work, take seven days off work. So you have the five days of focused intensive energy and then two days to reacclimate to normal life. This is just a totally hypothetical example. I don't know if that's how it'll be for you, but I just encourage you not to switch completely suddenly back in to your normal routine. The biggest thing again for people is food and I would strongly encourage you to avoid those things I mentioned, nightshades, grains, gluten, dairy, and sugar. If you just start off completely avoiding those as you're moving out of the flare, unless for some reason you've taken a sensitivity test and you know you're not sensitive to those specific things, that's a good place to start. And then just cook all of your veggies, just avoid anything raw for that first phase. Those are some general tips. I'm not saying that will 100% work every time and that's like the perfect thing to do, but some general advice. That's how I would come out of it. I would still sleep a ton. I would still keep up with all of my meditation and my walks. I wouldn't just like jump right back into the gym. Give yourself at least 
a day or two coming out of this intensive repair phase. All right, tomorrow we're going to talk about how to stop and notice the flare before it even starts. And this is where it really gets fun. This part changed my life. So ease your way back into normal life if you're feeling better, and we'll see you tomorrow.